Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain Honey Lemon Soda. This movie tells the story of a high school girl who is shy in front of other people. She has always been an easy target for bullies because of her nature. Until she meets a laid-back boy with lemon yellow hair who helps her. The boy is popular, but something of an aloof guy. As she develops feelings for him, he remains elusive as he has his own secret. Will she be able to fight back against her bullies? And can they be together despite their own circumstances? Let's find out in Honey Lemon Soda. Honey Lemon Soda Honey Lemon Soda begins with the story of Ishimori Yuka, a shy middle school girl who finds it difficult to make friends. One day, after coming home from school, Yuka pensively thought about which high school she would choose when she graduated from middle school. It is at this time that she crosses paths with Rimi, a student from her school who often bullies her. As might be expected, Rimi pushes Yuka down, then taunts her for choosing an unpopular high school filled with losers. Being insulted like that, Yuka didn't dare to fight back. She just sat there silently, clenching her fists. Not long after, Yuka saw Miura Kai, a handsome student with lemon hair, who always carried a bottle of lemon soda with him. Kai stood in front of Yuka, trying to cheer her up while shaking his lemon soda bottle. Kai even suggested that Yuka go to the same high school as him. Hearing that, Yuka seemed to have hoped that she would be able to live a normal life in high school, without having to be afraid of bullying. Long story short, Yuka was accepted into the same high school as Kai. By pedaling her bicycle to school, Yuka welcomes her first day with a smile. She believes that life at her new school will be fine. Meanwhile, Kai immediately became the center of attention among the students at the high school. Kai's popularity, however, made other students jealous and mocked him. Kai returned the taunt by splashing lemon soda on them. Unfortunately, Yuka, who happened to be passing by, was splashed by the lemon soda. As a result, Yuka's uniform was wet. On the other hand, Kai looks surprised to see Yuka enrolling in the same high school. Yuka begins to live out her high school days, where she slowly opens up and talks to her new friends in class. However, those days only lasted for a moment because it turned out that Rimi went to the same school as her. In the school corridor, Rimi mocked her again. She calls Yuka as stone because Yuka is always silent when teased. Yuka's bullying continues. Every day, Yuka's personal belongings are thrown into the trash, but again, Yuka doesn't dare fight back. Concerned about Yuka's situation, Kai tries to get her to talk, suggesting Yuka to cultivate the courage to take revenge on or at least fight against the bullies. If she felt unable, then at least ask someone for help. Hearing Kai's suggestion, Yuka could only squeeze her own hand while holding back her emotions. It's not that Yuka doesn't want to ask for help, but she doesn't want to involve other people in the problems she faces. Therefore, she prefers to remain silent, to the point that she also thinks that she is a stone. The next day, Yuka meets Rimi and her friends again in the corner of the school. There, Rimi asked Yuka to buy her some food. Yuka responded with silence like a stone. Irritated, Rimi pushed her down. The commotion immediately attracted the attention of other students, including Kai. Seeing Yuka being bullied again, Kai sat crouched beside Yuka, with a look in his eyes that clearly pitied Yuka. Kai said if Yuka needed help, he was willing to help. Yuka, who couldn't stand the suffering anymore, finally burst into tears and asked Kai to help her. Kai patted Yuka's head to calm her down. Then, Kai stood up and gave Rimi and her gang a stern warning never to bother Yuka again or else they would suffer the consequences. Without saying anything, Rimi left with a huff. Since then, Yuka can live her days in peace. In fact, she now gets three new friends who are also Kai's friends. They are Ayumi Endo, Satoru Sido, and Tomoya Takuma. One afternoon in the classroom, while Kai was seen sleeping soundly in his seat, the three friends were chatting with Yuka happily. They interrogate Yuka and ask why Yuka chose their school. Yuka openly said that, when she was in middle school, she was always bullied, so she didn't have any friends, to the point that she thought that coming to school was unpleasant. Therefore, Yuka acts like a rock, so that she doesn't hurt her own heart and others. However, someone has brought her back to her senses, making her determined to change, so she can live a normal high school life like any other teenager. Kai, who was pretending to be asleep overheard Yuka's words. One day, the teacher rearranged the seats in the classroom. Luckily, Yuka got a seat next to Kai in the front row. Since then, Kai has discovered that Yuka is a smart student and that gives him an idea. In class, Kai announced that whoever Yuka was friends with, their grades could definitely improve. His classmates believe Kai's words and they start to be friends with Yuka. Since then, Yuka doesn't feel alone anymore because Kai will always be there to help her and her classmates always greet her. 
Seeing the attention that Kai gave to Yuka, Tomoya suspected that Kai had special feelings for Yuka. However, Kai didn't want to admit it, because actually, behind his helpful nature, Kai has a secret in his life. One afternoon, Kai invites Yuka to gather with his friends at a cafe to study together. They will have an exam soon, so Kai and his friends need Yuka to explain the material that will appear in the exam. Not long after, a girl named Serena and her two friends approach them. Serena turns out to be Kai's ex-girlfriend. Even though they broke up, Serena is still on good terms with Kai. But suddenly, Serena's friend taunts Yuka, who she doesn't think is worthy to sit next to Kai. The insult made Serena angry. She immediately grabbed the glass and spilled its contents onto her friend, then Serena apologized to Yuka for her friend's outrageous words. However, the next day on the school roof, Serena is surrounded by her friends. They demanded that Serena apologize for her annoying behavior. Feeling innocent, Serena refused to do so. Her refusal certainly angered them, to the point that one of them was about to slap Serena. At this moment, Yuka appeared and accidentally saw what they were doing. Yuka decides to repay Serena by defending her, and luckily, Kai came and joined in defending Serena. Feeling the situation was not favorable, they then left them. On the school roof, Yuka saw the closeness between Kai and Serena. She also realizes that Kai still pays special attention to Serena, even though she doesn't know why the two of them broke up. Whatever the reason, Yuka now feels insecure because she doesn't feel equal to the beautiful Serena. One afternoon, Yuka chats with Serena and Ayumi. From this conversation, Yuka finally found out about Serena and Kai's first meeting. When she was in middle school, it turned out that Serena was often bullied by her friends. The bullying that Serena received was even more severe than what Yuka had experienced. That's when Kai came to protect Serena. Kai will always act if he sees injustice happening in front of his eyes. Since then, Serena has always depended on Kai, even though she realized she had to change because she couldn't always be protected by others. That's the reason why Serena and Kai broke up. Serena assures Yuka that at this time, she has no special relationship with Kai. But still, Serena's confession didn't satisfy Yuka, who thought that Serena still had feelings for Kai. Therefore, Yuka started avoiding Kai without giving any explanation. Even so, Kai still tried to approach her. Until one day when they met at the festival, Kai asked for an explanation of why Yuka's attitude towards him had changed. But Yuka was silent, acting as if she was a rock. However, Kai didn't give up. He held Yuka's hands while looking into her eyes. Kai said that even though Yuka acted like a stone, in his eyes, Yuka is like a gemstone. Kai's words brought Yuka to tears, and Kai once again comforted Yuka to make her stop crying. Yuka finally realizes her love for Kai. A few days have passed since the festival, Yuka still doesn't know that Kai lives two different lives. It turns out that Kai works part-time as a bartender at a bar at night. Kai lives alone, so he has to work to make a living. But his busy life made his body tired to the point of getting sick. As a result, he missed school for several days. Yuka was certainly worried, so she finally took the initiative to visit Kai after school. Arriving at Kai's apartment, Yuka finds Kai seriously ill. His fever was so high that he fainted. Yuka immediately took care of him and cooked porridge so Kai would eat. However, after spending the whole day with Kai, Yuka realizes that she hasn't seen Kai's parents. Kai explained that his parents were abroad. Long story short, Kai is healthy again and he has come back to school. When Kai walks in school, there are always girls who approach Kai. Kai's popularity makes Yuka feel insecure. It was also realized by Tomoya who then reprimanded Kai, saying that Kai's popularity would become a boomerang that destroys his relationship with Yuka. Because of that, Kai wrote in Yuka's notebook about his feelings that he will always need Yuka and will look for her wherever Yuka goes. But that's still not enough to convince Yuka who is still not confident to be with Kai. On the advice of Ayumi, who asked Yuka to express her feelings to Kai, Yuka finally expressed her love for Kai. Unexpectedly, Kai responded by kissing her lips. Since then, they openly show their close relationship in front of their school friends. Even so, some of their friends think they are not compatible because Yuka doesn't deserve to be Kai's partner. However, Kai defends Yuka, saying openly in front of all the students that they are officially dating. Days passed, and Yuka and Kai's relationship became closer. They always spend time together, study together and go to favorite places together. However, their intimate relationship did not last long. When Yuka wrote a question in Kai's journal about his family tree, Kai's expression immediately changed. Kai seemed to avoid answering the question. 
He is reluctant to discuss his family matters with anyone, even if that person is his lover. This made their relationship a little tenuous. Kai became quiet and refused to hang out with his friends. Kai's change in attitude worries Tomoya. He decides to talk to Yuka and tell her about Kai's part-time job. Yuka then rushed to the bar where Kai worked. Seeing Yuka standing at the entrance, Kai immediately pulled Yuka out of the place. There, Yuka asks for an explanation why Kai keeps his job a secret from her, even though being a bartender isn't a bad thing. But Kai has a different view. He thinks that the bar belongs to the nightlife, a world that is not suitable for Yuka. Yuka still doesn't accept Kai's excuse, because to her, she has the right to know where Kai is, no matter where in the world. But on the other hand, Kai feels uncomfortable with Yuka's attitude that interferes too much in his life. Without explaining anything, Kai left Yuka in confusion. Christmas Eve arrived, where Yuka and her friends celebrated without Kai because of work. However, when he saw Yuka's photos on social media showing their happy days together, Kai's heart was moved. In the end, Kai realized that Yuka's presence meant a lot in his life. He then ran, leaving his job to look for Yuka. Unfortunately, when he arrived at the Christmas Eve celebration, he only found his friends. Yuka had left the place. In front of his friends, Kai apologized for his behavior so far that he kept his personal life a secret from them. His friends understand Kai, and then they tell him that Yuka is currently going to the place where Kai met Yuka for the first time. By borrowing Satoru's bicycle, Kai rushed after Yuka. At the end of the film, Kai arrived at his destination. A moment later, when he saw Yuka, he wrote the answer to Yuka's question in his journal the other day. While holding back tears, Kai shared that his mother died when he was three years old, while his father disappeared when he was in his last year of middle school. Since then, he has lived alone. He kept it a secret because he was afraid that the person he loved would leave him again. After knowing this, Yuka promised that she would always be by Kai's side no matter what. The film ends. The message of this film is, you have to fight and show your love if you feel you have found the right person. Because sometimes, we only realize how important the person we love is when they are no longer by our side.